kitties! So today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial with you guys today. Here's the before and the after. So today I'm going to be doing a collab with Ruby Kiss. I have a few of the products and I also got sent this palette and some other products to try to do a review on today. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you guys would like to see the full and depth just eyeshadow tutorial, it will be on my TikTok so you guys go check it out. My TikTok is Make sure you guys go subscribe, I mean follow and like. Today we're going to be doing a fall inspired look. I also have on a cute little wig for you guys today. Excuse that noise, it's my son down here. And it is from, I also did a TikTok video on this wig so you guys can check it out linked in the description so today we're going to be doing a fall inspired makeup look and this palette is called pumpkin spice i also have some more products i'm going to also be using their mini contouring palette right now on my lips i have on one of their glosses this is it right here this is their old logo and this is their new logo so a really good lip gloss one of my favorites and i also have one of their lipsticks well a couple of their lipsticks i think today i'm going to be doing what is this color? Cinnamon. I also have the concealer. Ruby Kiss concealer. So I'm going to be using that as well. So let's just jump on ahead into the tutorial. Color Stay Grip Primer. Okay, so this is the primer and it looks really cute. I think it looks it looks very mattifying. I love that. My favorite. Next up, I'm going to go in with, with one of my favorite foundations. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation in the color 128. So, it's actually been a while since I've done my makeup on my YouTube channel. It's probably been about... Please excuse me. It's probably been about over a year since I've posted a makeup tutorial. Probably over a year. Um... I really want to start back doing it again because it is something that I find passionate. It's just when I became a new mom, I didn't know how to figure this out and do it with kids and keep it going. So yeah, the reason why I like this foundation is as you can see, it matches my skin really well and it also it's like a medium to full coverage and I like that. Okay, so I'm gonna put this onto my neck. I know it looks like a hot mess. <laughs> okay, so I decided to go in with the Ruby Kiss um, concealer underneath my eyes. This is their contouring kit. I'm gonna use a little shade. I'm gonna try to contour. Okay, so yeah, I'm just putting it on my cheeks. And then I'm also gonna have a bridge on my nose. I don't really contour like that, so. Yeah. <laughs> Concealer. It's actually really good. Yeah, a little more. So I'm like, there. It is a really good brand, and I'm really excited to be working with them. They're my first ever collaboration makeup brand I'm working with, which is really fantabulous. Like, amazing. And I'm so honored to be able to do this with them and to work with them. That is her. <laughs> Looks really good. Right here, and then my chin. And I'm just gonna blend it in. I'm also gonna take this glow stick, because I'm not shine bright like a diamond. And I'm just gonna apply that right there. Look at that. This shine like diamond spooky. So. Yeah, and I'm also put here and here. And we're just gonna go with our foundation brush. 
So for baking, I have this Physicians Formula Miro Wear. It's a three-in-one setting powder. I'm going to be wearing the pink side where it says white. You can see that's what it looks like. So I'm just gonna take, I'm actually gonna take my little triangle puff and I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna, you guys can't really see it. I think that the pink is good for my skin. People tell me all the time that pink makes the best on me, so. And I think it's so I'm put it on here too. Yeah, it looks so cute. <laughs> I'm gonna try to be like, okay. So this is my, my hydroponic hydro powder. Too medium, too warm. I'm Terry Saladi, I don't know. This one, and I'm gonna take this darker shade because I like to look snatched. And I just go like where my little like I don't know what this is. I just go right there because it works great for me. And yeah, she's like a warm brownie type of shade, which I like that too. Like, I also go like right here, make it look sharp. And then I go here. I'll go on my bridge and my nose. I have a blush powder as well. This is the Amir Shading Powder Palette. And I'm gonna go on with our powder. Because I like I like bronze. I like brown blush. And I'm gonna that shade and it's kind of bright. So I'm gonna I kind of sorry. I'm gonna pull. I got a little too much right here. I'm gonna go in with my Ofra Banana Powder um, setting spray. I know I'm crazy with the bronzer. I went too bit too, too much, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it look cute. Cute. <laughs> I don't care what I'm gonna say. Too much blush is cute. This part, and it's gonna be pink. <laughs> So today we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Highlight Powder. Um, I really, 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 really love this. So yeah, we're gonna go on our cheekbones. But it works great. Let's see if I can like, it's like coming out so good. This is a really good highlighter. Like, look at that one. It's like it's very iridescent, very pretty. Pretty much it. I also forgot to do my eyebrows, which is crazy. I'm gonna do them right now, off camera. So, yeah. Okay, it was that quick. I just did like the ends and stuff like that. So, now I'm gonna take my concealer, my Ruby Kiss concealer, and I'm gonna do all my eyes now. So, yeah. So, yeah. I don't really do too much for my brows. I just feel in like the back part. Cause like, I already have full brows. So it's like, I don't want it to be any fuller. Like, I just want cute, subtle eyebrows. This concealer is really good in my opinion. Look at that, like, I just, I don't really like it. So, yeah. I'm down to do any look that is recommended to me. Just recommend it. Yeah. I'm also gonna go in with my powder. I don't know what this brand is called. Charlotte Tuber? I don't, I don't even know. Honey, I don't know. I see it, it's gonna work. It works okay. Now that my face is done, we're gonna go into the palette. So this is the palette, it's called Pumpkin Spice. So, so pretty. I think I'm gonna go in with this brown color. Just a little bit, I'm gonna pack it in there. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more. I'm gonna take this orange shade down here. This burnt orangey shade, it reminds me of pumpkins. And full on, look at this stuff. So I'm just gonna take this to blend this brown out. 
that orangey shade and I'm just gonna keep blending out this brown. That is just, look at that. Like that's just so pretty, oh my gosh. Really this, this fall, I've been really into like orangey shades and all types of stuff. Like I've been really into pumpkins lately and I'm thinking about doing my toes pumpkins. Isn't that so cute? That's like really, really cute. So now I'm gonna go in with this neon green, I mean green, a neon orangey shade. I'm gonna put that at the top just to give it more of the orangey look because it was starting to look a little purple with the brown. So what we got. Tell me what are you excited for? Are you excited for Christmas or are you excited for Halloween? I really want to know down below. So let me know. So we're just gonna do like that and I'm gonna go back in with the brush that I use with the brown and I'm gonna just not add any more product. I'm just gonna make the brown more visible. And this time I'm gonna bring it more into my center of my crease while cutting my crease. And I'm gonna do like a yellowy, orangey, gold color in the middle. That's easy, but I'm gonna do it a little bigger because I have blue eyes. So I'm going that the yellow shade in the middle, and I'm kind of gonna like pack it on. So on my eye, kind of looks yellow, I mean orange, but it's like a mustardy, nudish type of color inside the palette. So it really is about your skin color that makes colors look a different type of way. So you can see, cute, this makeup look is really cute. So now I'm gonna go with that, should I go with this shade? No, I'm gonna go with this gold shade. Now I'm just gonna take my finger, I always take my finger. I think that works the best. So I'm just gonna put it on there as well as I can with my finger. Ooh, that's so pretty. And I'm also gonna put on my inner corner as well. Like that. So now I'm gonna go in with that, with that brown shade. And I'm gonna just like, you know, blend in back here with the brown. And I'm gonna kind of take the brown like that over my cut crease just to blend it in a little bit more. So it's not so harsh. As you guys can see, that's how it's looking super super pretty so now since that's done i'm gonna go ahead and do this on it and i will be right back okay okay guys so i did the other side and i did it on my tiktok i also use at the bottom for my bottom lash line i use that brown shade that i used earlier so these are the lashes that i'm going to be putting on these are so so pretty oh my gosh i'm gonna put these on um let me go cut them down to size and put one side on and i'll do the outside with you guys okay okay guys so i put the lash on and let me tell you let me tell you So I was like, these are some cute lashes. I wear my trains out and all that, but now that I have it on, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I feel like these are good lashes to wear on your own, like if you ain't got no makeup on and stuff like that, but with makeup, I feel like they're just doing too much. But I already got them on and they kind of cute, they were on me. So let's go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna cut this off. I'm going to apply my glue. I use the, I believe this is the Kiss Aloe Vera Clear. Let me check for y'all. It's the Kiss Strip at Lash Adhesive with Aloe Vera Clear. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> so you gotta blow. The Orphan, whatever's up to you. Whatever you like to do. And keep on until it's like bleh. I like to, when it's not fully dry, like put it on my lash line. And like let the glue sit on there and stuff. This I looks better. I don't know why. But yeah. Hold on. I don't know what's up with this eye. 
I'm gonna take this one off and do it over again because I think there's something. Because this set looks super pretty. Let me see. I'm probably gonna squish down here a little bit more. I love it. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. Hey, my else. They're both on. Cute. So this is a really cute look. I really love it. I think that overall it's really beautiful. Let me spray some scents. So this is the Wet n Wild Matte Scent Spray. It's my all-time favorite. I've used it for how many years? So. Oh my gosh, that thing squirty on oh, my face. Oh, I think it would be this one, so we're gonna look at this one today. Hey, so um slay okay this is like a really cute whiny cranberry shade from milani and this is their stay put stuff and ain't gonna move it ain't gonna go nowhere and this is in the color 220 go off like they said go off Anyways, this is so cute with my wig <laughs> yeah guys this is the finished makeup look i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I love recording it for you guys. Please make sure you guys leave a like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Um, if you guys would like, you guys can show me any other tutorials that you guys would like me to do, and I will be glad to do it for you guys. I miss doing my makeup, so you girl got you. I really like this look. I think I look super, super cute fall vibes, especially with this layered wig. And if you guys would like, I will also um, put this wig down in the subscription as well description subscription you know you get what i mean it's super cute super pretty i love the highlights in it i love the layers i love everything about this wig and it's an easy put on and go wig you ain't gotta cut no lace you ain't gotta glue it on you got nothing i have a video on my tiktok if you guys like i will also have that down below but you guys have a wonderful day thank you guys so much for watching bye kitties